Hey, welcome to Family Chats with Pastor Dean Ross of Family Church NOLA, where we love God passionately and we love people personally. My childhood pastor used to ask us these three questions regularly. Have, have you read your Bible today? Have you prayed? Have you shared your faith? In our last few videos, we've talked about how we got the Bible and how we can trust the Bible. Now I want to talk about how we can use the Bible to guide our prayer. If we're going to develop rhythms in our life of being a disciple by reading God's word, praying and sharing our faith, well, how do we truly approach prayer? Jesus says in the Sermon on the Mount in, in Matthew uh, chapter 6 that when you pray, don't pray like the hypocrites do and, and keep using repetitive things without meaning, but pray in this way, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and help us to forgive our debts as, as, as we forgive and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Jesus gave us a, a model of just authentic prayer to God. The, the problem is sometimes we can just fall into the same old patterns that we were warned not to do. Just where we repeat the same old things, even the Lord's Prayer. I'm not saying we don't pray the Lord's Prayer, um, but just like anything, whether it's the Lord's Prayer, communion, um, worship, teaching, uh, serving, washing others' feet, all, all these things that we see we sh in the Bible that we can model, um, if anything is done uh, with without uh, discovering in a new and a fresh way, and being reminded of why we do what we do, it can lose its meaning over time, and so can prayer. And and the truth is, prayer can become just frankly boring for people. Prayer is scary for others. New believers struggle with saying the right words. Even uh, believers that have been following Jesus for years, we just get bored with patterns of prayer and praying the same old things. And sometimes we, we have to pray about the same things. We, we pray regularly for people to come to know Jesus. So we're repeating the same prayers over and over. We pray for our families. If you're a parent, you pray for your kids, their health, their well-being, most importantly for them to follow Jesus as well. And I, I love what Donald Whitney writes in his book, Praying the Bible. He says, the problem isn't about praying the same old prayers. It's about praying the same things about the same old things. And so the it's really not always the heart that's the issue. It's it's the method. And there are many methods out there. You have the acts uh, method for prayer where you follow a pattern of adoration, confession, thanksgiving, supplication. Um, I like to follow the model P-R-A-Y. Praise, repent, ask, yield. Uh, praise, repent, ask, and yield. Uh, say up. Start your prayers with a prayer of praise, then move into a prayer of repentance, and then move to asking God, or or like the Acts model says, supplication, um, asking God for uh, on on your behalf for things or others' behalf, uh, and then the last one in pray is yield. Uh, I don't think we pray yielding prayers enough. Yielding prayers are, are Lord, I I commit myself to you and. Where you lead me, I will go and I will follow you. Today, God, if you give me someone to share my faith with, I'll have the boldness to do it. Donald Whitney does a good job in his book. I highly, highly suggest picking it up. I'm not getting commission. I was actually given the book for free. Um, Donald Whitney, Praying the Bible. He's not the first person to ever talk about this, but a really simple book to read. About 100 pages. You just read uh, uh, and you get a really simple method for how to pray the bible use scripture to guide your prayer he suggests starting in the psalms and praying the psalms regularly and i agree the psalms are are, are very convenient to pray because in fact they're a collection of praises and prayers um uh, by by david and many other writers that were circulated and used in the in the ancient church um but there's something about praying scripture. I love Donald Whitney, and this is the last thing I'll share from his book. He says, so basically when you're praying the Bible, so basically what you're doing is taking words that originated in the heart and mind of God and circulating them through your heart and mind back to God. 
and by this it means that his words becomes the become the wings of our prayers last couple of weeks we talked about how do we get the bible and can we trust the bible and if we believe the bible as god's word which all christians do then praying the bible should uh be one of our primary methods of how we communicate with god just take a take a simple psalm uh, psalm chapter 9 uh, not, uh, Psalm 119, not chapter 9, 119, verses 9 through 11 says, How can a young man keep his way pure? By taking heed according to your word. With my whole heart I've sought you. Let me not wander from your command. So how do you take those verses and pray them back to God? How can a young man keep his way pure? Well, then you, maybe in your spirit, you see, God, I desire to, to be pure. I desire to be like you. God, how 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 can I do that? Well, the next verse, by taking heed according to your word, God, help me with my time in your word. God, I get bored reading. God, I, help your word to come alive to me. God, help it to be, help, help me to see you through your words given to me. Um, how can a young man keep his way pure by taking heed according to your word with my whole heart i've sought you not let me not wonder from your commands god i desire to be your hands and feet each and every day then verse verse 11 of 119 psalm 119 your word i've hidden in my heart that i might not sin against you lord help me to be guided by your word each and every day so that i can be more like you and to not sin and lord Forgive me of the ways that I fail when I have sinned and help me to be more like you. Give me your spirit and your power to do this. It's in your name I pray. Amen. Using God's word is a simple model of prayer. The Psalms are easy. Uh, there are prayers, whether it be the Apostle Paul, uh, prayers that we can repeat back to God. Um, furthermore, just as we study the Bible, whether it be Old Testament, New Testament, uh, maybe you're studying a book like Haggai or Revelation. As you uh, do your Bible studies and you learn what does this say about God, what does this say about us, what are you calling me to do through your word, God, and who should I share it with, take those things and pray them to God. Use the Bible as a model and a guide for prayer. If you'd like more resources on how to use God's word for prayer, just email us at at, on our website, jointhefamily.church. You can connect uh, on our website that way. You can email connect at jointhefamily.church. We'd love for you to have resources on how to use God's word uh, as a model for your prayer. I hope you're having a great day. And if you're not, then go to God in prayer. He's ready and willing to listen to you. God bless, and I'll see you next time.